This video, sponsored by, Storyblocks Video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. If you ever need of stock footage, motion background, after effects template, then Storyblocks video is the best option for you. Being a content creator, many times you have to use the stock videos. And it can cost you more than your entire budget. But Storyblocks video, gives you studio quality, 4K stock videos, without blowing your budget. All content is royalty free so you can use it for personal, as well as the commercial project. The best thing about the Storyblocks video, there is only one single price for year, which allows you to download unlimited video assets, without any additional cost. You can keep anything you download from their collection. So, click the first link in the description, and check out the Storyblocks video today. Let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Character Intro. I am using the 1920 by 854 resolution. You are free to choose your own setting. The first step is to create a new solid layer. I am calling it Background, and using this bright yellow color. You are free to use any color you want. Now, unselect any selected layer. Then go to the tools, and select the star shape tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color. And my stroke is set to none. For the fill, I am using this orange color. Now, click anywhere on the screen, and start creating the shape. You can use the shift key, to make the shape straight. Align it to the center. And then, rename this shape layer as the rays. Now open Polystar, and then Polystar Path 1. Here, change the points value to 25. Also, change the in radius value to 0. You can always hide the mask path, by clicking here. I cannot see anything. But it will be visible very soon. Now change the out radius value to 3000. And then, change the outer roundness value to 125%. And this is how it looks now. Cool. You can use this position value, to place the center of the rays anywhere you want. Now we are going to animate this shape. Make sure you are at the first frame. And then add a keyframe on the rotation. Now go to the last frame position, and then change the rotation value to two times. Ram preview this, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Let's change the blend mode to the screen. And if required, you can change the opacity value to 50%. So that it won't distract the main content. In case your blend more tab is not available here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, is watching the Avengers Endgame in Blu-ray quality, then right click here, go to the columns, and choose parent, modes, as well as switches. Because we are going to need them. Let's minimize this layer, to get some room. Now, import our files into the project. You can download them from the link in the description. And then grab the video 1 layer, and place it right about the rays layer. Let's place the object in the center, and then choose a frame, where you want to show your character. I am going with this frame, on 2 second position. Please note, this frame time can be different for your video clip. But for this tutorial, I am keeping the 2 second frame time. Place your playhead at the 2 seconds position, 
then press Ctrl, plus Shift, plus D, to split the layer. Now make a duplicate of this layer, and then select the bottom layer. And rename this layer as the still frame. Now right click on it, go to the time, and choose freeze frame. It will remove all the motion from the video, and make the frame still. Let's place the starting position of the top layer at 5th second. Ramp preview this, and now you can see that our character is looking at the camera, and then the frame stays for about 3 seconds, and then it starts playing after the 5th second. Cool. Now we are going to add the mask on this character. Make sure you are at this freeze frame position, and then select this layer. Now go to the tools, and select the pen tool. The purpose of adding this mask is to remove this object from the background. If you hold down the spacebar on your keyboard, you can temporarily activate the hand tool. Which you can use to move the frame. Now create a mask around the object. If you click and drag the mouse cursor, you can add the curve, in the mask. And, if you press and hold the ALT key, then you can individually change the position of this handle. The mask path will follow these handle direction. Now create a mask around the edges of the object. You don't have to make the perfect mask shape. Just make sure to add it as close as possible. Of course you can take the time. But I am speeding up this process, just to save your time. Now, for the last anchor point, make sure to connect it with the first anchor point. Else it won't work. See? The background has been removed. And this is how it looks now. This is the basic structure. Let's place the ray center, at right behind the face of our character. Select the rays layer, and use the position for moving it. Cool. Now we are moving to the next step. Right click on the still layer, go to the layer style, and then choose stroke. Now open stroke, and change the stroke color to the white. Also, change the size value to 15. It will create this nice looking stroke. Now again right click on it, go to the layer style, and select drop shadow. Let's minimize the stroke, to get some room. And then open drop shadow, here, change the size value to 0 and change the distance value to 30. I am keeping the angle value to 160 degrees. Cool. Let's minimize all layers, and select the background, raise, and still frame layer. Right click on it, and choose to pre-compose. I am calling it action, and then hit OK. We have created a separate composition, so that we can adjust them easily. Now place this action layer, at below of all layers. And it will look the same. Now open this action comp, then grab this video 2 layer, and place it on top. Also, change the blend mode to the screen. And it will create this nice looking fire effect. You can always turn down the opacity if you like. I am keeping it at 50%. Let's add the texture as well. Place it on top of all layers. As you can see, this is a high quality texture. So let's change the blend mode to the multiply. And it will look like this. Of course, we will use the opacity. But first, I am going to scale down this layer, to fit right with my frame size. Now, I am keeping the opacity value to 25%. And this is how it looks now. Cool. Now we are going to add the text. So go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. I am keeping the first, and last name on a separate layer. And using this dark brown color. Let's place it right here, and then go to the point, where you want to show your text. In my case, I am going to place it on two and half second. Now open text position, and add a keyframe on it. Then go to the 2 second position, and change the X position value to a higher number. So that the text appears from this position. 
This is just a basic position animation, of course you can create your own style. Now select both keyframes. Right click on it, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and then add motion blur to it. Also, activate it from here. Now select the text layer, and make another duplicate of it. I am going to use it as the last name. Now, press U, to open keyframes. Select both keyframes, and make sure, the playhead is placed, at any of these keyframes. Now use the shift plus down arrow key, to place that text position, at right below the first name. Also, you can play with the text size if you need. Align its position, and you are good to go. By the way, you can download this font from the link in the description. Now I am going to place this last name layer to the right, so that, they both appear, at a different time. Cool. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the transform effect. Apply it onto the text layer, and then change the skew value to negative 10. Now select this transform effect, and copy it. Select the first name layer, and paste the transform on it. It will add this stylish skew on the text. Now right click on the first text, go to the layer style, and choose drop shadow. Open drop shadow, and change the size value to 0. Also, I am keeping the opacity value to 50%. As well as the distance will be 7. Cool. Now select this layer style, copy it. Select the last name layer, and paste it right here. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Now we will add some shake effect to it. So select the action layer, then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the wiggle position. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the wiggle amount to 2 and then change the wiggle speed to 10. It will add this quick shake effect on the action comp. Let's open this action comp. Select these text layers, and place them right above the still frame layer, so that, they will have the same texture, as everything else. Cool. This is how it looks now. Let's add a few more elements. Create a new adjustment layer. I am calling it flash. Place it on top of all layers, and we are going to add a quick flash effect on this layer. So go to a few frames backwards, where this action layer appears. Then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the exposure. Apply it onto the layer, and then add a keyframe on the exposure. Now use the control, plus right arrow key, to jump one second at a time. Go to around 4 frame forward, and then press U, to open exposure keyframes. Here, change the exposure value to 1.5. Then again go to the 4 frames forward, and change the exposure value to 0. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, and easy ease them. Make sure the spacing between them is equal. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Cool. Now select all keyframes, and copy them. Go to the 5 second position, and paste it over here. Make sure the middle keyframe, is aligned with the edge of the video layer. And it will create the flash effect here as well. Cool. Fit it 100%, and see how it looks now. Cool. This looks good to me. Let's add a small zoom in effect to the action layer. Select the action layer, and open scale. Then go to the last flash keyframe position, and then add a keyframe on the scale. Now grab this keyframe, and place it on the first exposure keyframe position. Now, change the scale value to 105%. It will add this little scale animation. Now go to the second exposure keyframe position and click here to add a keyframe on it. Go to the last keyframe position, and change the scale value to 100%. Cool. 
cool. Now select all keyframes, and easy ease them as well. Ram preview this. And our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Again thanks to our partner, Storyblocks for sponsoring this video. Remember to check the first link in the description. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.